G'day guys, welcome to the beautiful Emerald Lakes. Uh, today we're down here, we're going to be playing the back nine. But what I'm going to do today on the back nine a little bit differently uh, than what I normally do, is I'm going to take the two iron, which I've just acquired, so it's the Tailor-made UDI two iron. Then I'm going to use that off every tee and see how it affects my score. Now normally on the back nine, I can actually use a driver off most of the tees, obviously exceptions of the par three. Um, but today I'm going to use the two iron and see how it affects the score. Does it get better? Does it get worse? Do I hit more fairways? Do I hit less fairways? And uh, let's see how we go. My average score around the back nine, the best that I've scored is two under. Average score is probably between even to two over. So that'll give us a good gauge as to, uh, to how we're going. Let's get the first tee. First swing of the day, no warmer. 20 past six. That went a long way. This thing is a weapon. So, so I did manage to turn this one over just a touch, but we're still in good shape. 75 metres to the front, so I got a 56. So it's pretty much a full shot from here. Now on the green. in the bunker. Wet bunkers. Wonderful. Alright, so I'm going to need this for par, which is a lengthy par putt. After a decent tee shot, I'm making a mess of the pole. Righty, so starting with a the bogey there, obviously not ideal. Um, that was a really decent tee shot. And then from there, it kind of went downhill. Even the first wedge shot, actually, I hit it all right. It just didn't go the distance. Maybe these earlier mornings were coming out of that rough. Um, and it's an awkward distance because I've got a 56 degree, which should go that distance, just. And then a 50 degree, which obviously goes a bit too far. So. I think maybe I need to switch it up and get a 52 in there instead. But anyway, let's uh, let's move on to the next tee. What will be interesting though is it'll be interesting to see how it affects the wedge game because obviously playing this course here, the driver distances, I'm used to playing that wedge game. So you know, if I'm getting too many wedge shots from that awkward distance, well then maybe it's not the option. But let's see. We'll just see how it all plays out. 10 metres to the pin, the back pin on a par 4, and uh, I'm guessing this should leave me about 100, 105, so that's a better way to do it. So good. Alrighty guys, so it went 210, which is pretty much exactly where I'd want it to go. Now I've got 94 to the middle, you want to hit it up there to the right and let it roll around. Close. Just a touch past the pin, but close.
Alrighty guys, so here is a dog leg par 5. It's not a... Uh, dog leg left. It's not a terribly long par 5, but it's awkward because you can't take a driver off the tee. Um, in fact, it'll be interesting to see whether this will actually be too long or not, so... It should be okay. As you can get. That was lovely. Still 250 from the pin. This is a fair way, believe it or not. Just a bit wet. Still 250 from the pin. I need to hit this about 180, so I've got the three iron, probably go 185 in this wet, and then I'll have about 70 meters to that back pin. Nice shot, I hit that well, but it might come up a touch short. Just so much water come out of there. 90 meters to that back pin. Straight uh, right over that bunker. Take a bit off 50, but we should be right. actually come around really nice. Did cut a little bit too much. Just trying to get some spin on it, but it's come around nice, top of the green. We'll have a bit of a not downhill, more sideways cut. Right, so so far I'm obviously noticing that there's a difference in the wedge game that I'm going to be playing if I'm going to be using a two iron. Obvious, right? But the obvious is not always easy because when you're used to playing a course a certain way, that bird is really loud, when you're used to playing a course a certain way, it means that you need to adjust to play shots from places that you really haven't played them from before. Now, uh, I mean, I could have hit a two iron, the second shot there as well, been a bit further down, but there was people here close to the green, so I didn't want to do that. Um, but it's good. I'm enjoying the practice. I'm enjoying the adjustment. And to be honest, it's just a different club. That's all. So... Yeah, let's, uh, we got about 10 feet for birdie. Alrighty guys, part three here. I won't bore you too much with this. Just basically 110 meters to the front. So 110 metres to the front of this par 3. I won't bore you too much with it, we'll just wait for these guys on the green. And uh, got a pitching wedge. That's only just on, that didn't travel very far at all. Alright, so I'm actually even short if you can believe that. 110 metres of the pitching wedge, and I hit it well. It's a bit of dew or something in the air, but <clears throat> I normally chip this, but because it's so wet, cut it. Whoa, sticky. Get it. Oh. Alrighty, so another par there. So we're still one over. So traveling along okay. But um, as you'll notice, I actually changed my putting group just then as well. I've been playing around with uh, a couple of different groups. One's the more conventional one and then the pencil one. But 
I think I might stick with the pencil only because I feel like I have more speed control with it. Um, and I feel like I can square the face off a bit better. So it's not actually the most comfortable, to be honest. I think the standard one is more comfortable. But uh, with the pencil, I am getting it closer to the hole and my misses are uh, in a much smaller margin. So uh, as you just saw there with that birdie putt, I mean, I nearly hold that one. And then uh, after the par putt on the par five, I, I used it as well and I hold that birdie putt there. So, um, you know, putts, putts are really, really important and different groups fit different people. So uh, I'm basically just saying this because people in front of me, I'm trying to uh, waste some time. Anyway. This is a par five, and basically on this par five, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be hitting the two iron, and then I'm gonna hopefully give myself enough room to have a shot at the green. So uh, it's a long par five-ish, not really that long actually, uh, but two two irons should be able to get there pretty easily. Let's see. All right, so the idea here is we wanna hit it down there, but it's actually not the worst thing to go quietly left because then you can go across the water gives you the best angle to the green. It is dicey to do that because if you go too far, then you're gonna block yourself out or you're gonna be in the water. So, that being said, I'm gonna aim for the middle of the fairway, hopefully with a slight draw and uh, get somewhere where we're gonna have a shot. That should be perfect. So I didn't get the roll out of the fairway, I actually coming here a little bit in the rough. And probably too far away to actually have a crack. It's about, well I am, it's 230 to the front of the green. And uh, that's too far. So it, it's just good because it means that I'm gonna have to now learn to lay up and then give myself the best chance of getting a birdie again. So it's gonna be a six iron to about 170. And uh, that should give me about 85, 95 in the degree. Strike. And the ball's not travelling that far. So I will say this morning, even though I'm hitting this two iron quite well, and I've hit a couple of other irons well, even that pitching wedge, the ball isn't traveling all that far. Um, now I'm sure Bryson DeChambeau will be able to tell me why exactly, but my guess is just the dew and the density in the air. Um, but it is definitely going about five meters shorter than, uh, than normal. So six iron for me is generally that 170, 175 club and well, maybe 170 club, but I think we're only just on the hundred there. So that's all good. We'll, uh, Pins at the back, so it'll just be a pitching wedge instead of a 50 degree. Same shot. Alright, so I reckon it's about 110 to the back. Pitching wedge in hand. Not a good shot. Get in the hole. Oh! So close. Alrighty, so these last few holes are the holes that I was excited for. And to be honest, the biggest test, so these are 350 odd meters to a back pin, and uh, see how we go here. So that actually went left, so we'll see how we go from there. Alrighty guys, so we have about 143 to the middle, about 150 odd to that back pin out of that lie. So I've got a seven iron. I 
just wait for the greenskeeper. So another part there, but a good question to ask is, you know, you might not do this all the time in a comp or something like that on the weekend, but how much do you do it in practice? Because, you know, on a course like this around Emerald Lakes, if I was using my driver every hole, I'm pretty much a wedge on every hole into the green again. Um, whereas there, I hit it left a little and I was a seven iron into the green. And then before on the par five, I had to lay up with a six uh, and then hit a pitching wedge again into that green, which is different again. So. It all comes down to practice, it all comes down to playing the course differently and to be honest I'm actually really enjoying it so it's not playing the course the same way over and over and over and uh, we've got a couple of holes to go and we're still one over past so hasn't really hindered our score to this point. So this is one of my favourite tee shots on the course, also one of the hardest ones, stroke index one, straight par four, gorgeous hole, about 400 and something metres get it in the fairway. Okay, so about 170 to the front pin. Off this is water, but I'm gonna go up five just because the distance is having been carried. And uh, let's get it then. That's a great shot. That's probably the shot of the round. And definitely the shot of the round so far. That's sinking birdie. So another par there. Um, we're starting to give ourselves a few birdie opportunities, but just not really I would have taken, hit that part exactly where I wanted to, just didn't drop. Um, just sort of hung out there to the right, I thought it would break around, but anyway, it's all good. The greens are good today, rolling really well, I have been for the last few days. And uh, now we're coming up to a long par three, which is generally about 200 metres if the tees are back, and it plays long, so that might be an opportunity for the UDI to see if it, uh, see if it can hold a green if I don't hit it over the green. So guys, while we're waiting on this uh, par three behind me here, which is the long one there, the tees are actually off the white, so it's only 170, so I'll have to 175, 180 to the back, so probably be a four iron. But uh, anyway, so just talking about the two iron and how it feels like I've played it today. Um, I feel like the two iron has been easy to hit. I feel like I'm confident that I'm gonna be hitting fairways, which I may, or may not have hit the same or more amount of fairways, I don't know. But what it does is it just changes the game and brings more clubs in the bag into the game. Um, and it's a different way of playing. Now, would I play this way in comp all the time? Uh, no, but I would definitely probably add a mixture. So uh, instead of taking driver off every tee, I definitely would think about taking the two iron, um, especially on those par fives with the water. Um, you know, I think that that's really put you in a good position to uh, to score the best on the hole. Uh, whereas the driver can bring in the trouble, it can bring in the water, it is risk reward. Um, but uh, so we still got a couple of holes here to play. And the 18th is what I'm excited for, especially for this club. So uh, let's check it out. Straight down the middle, slight draw, gonna be if anything just right where his card is.
Alrighty, so after waiting. Well, it felt like an eternity for that groundskeeper on about. 122 out, but the ball hasn't been travelling, so I don't want to end up in the bunker. I want to end up on the green, so I'm going, I'm going nine. We'll see how this goes. Uh, All right, so a little bit of frustration now. I've had to wait an eternity for the fairway and the green with the greenskeepers it just they're just doing their job but this time of the morning it is quite frustrating to uh to try and come out being on a bit of a time restraint and then have to wait every single hole so anyway let's uh let's go get up and down and hopefully walk away with putt Alrighty guys, so uh, in uh, conclusion, uh, I did take a look at the stats just quickly um, and I was quite surprised to be honest. I felt like I was hitting that two iron really well off the tee, but then when I went and looked at the stats, I'd only hit three fairways out of nine there. So, I mean, it is the first time that I've been using that two iron, so I'll give it, you know, that kind of grace. But at the same time, um, fairways are important. And I mean, I do like hitting my driver and I find uh, that you know, I'm just as confident to, to hit that as I would be hitting that two iron. And I guess the two iron really has its place in the bag if I'm trying to lay up to a distance or if I'm hitting a tight par four or something like that. Um, and on some of those holes, I definitely think that I'll probably take the two iron now after using it. So I'll have, I'll have a bit of a mix in there. Um, but realistically, another stat that, that's not really on the, the app, which I wish it would, but uh, is proximity to the hole from, from your approach shot. So out of those three fairways that I hit, I hit five greens in regulations, but the proximity was pretty far away, to be honest. I think there was only maybe two or three shots where uh, I had genuine birdie opportunities to, uh, to make, and I didn't make any of them, unfortunately. But whereas when I do play with a driver and I use a, you know, a wedge of a 56 or, um, or even a 50 degree most of the time, then I'm getting closer proximity to the hole and giving myself more birdie opportunities and like I said I know it was the first time that I did it but I do seem to hit more fairways as well as being closer to the hole so um, is it beneficial look I think it's really beneficial to try and play that way because um, you're going to learn different shots like I was hitting five irons and seven irons into greens instead of uh, hitting pitching wedges and nine irons so that's a completely different game um, especially on that long par 4, the 16th there, where I hit a 5-iron into the green. Normally I'd be hitting a, uh, a pitching wedge or a 50 degree there from a driver. So um, it's much, much different, and I didn't hit the tee shot that well. So it really teaches you to be creative, and, and it adds to your golf game. So uh, I wouldn't do it in a comp, uh, to be honest with you, but I would definitely do it more in practice to, uh, to get better with those longer irons for when you're playing different courses. And, and I think that's probably my conclusion, is that every time that I've tried to play the conservative versus the aggressive route for me personally the aggressive route has been better um, sometimes sure the risk reward you get penalized for it by hitting a ball into a water or something like that um, but overall I, I think that it's it's worked out better for me um, so yeah anyway guys uh, two over today like I said disappointing on that last last par four where we got a bogey there probably should have been an easy par really it's not not that difficult of a hole um, but yeah, just got a bit rushed there. So anyway, uh, hope you liked the vlog. If there's anything else you'd like to see, then uh, drop a comment below and let me know. Thanks, guys. See ya.